What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Mouse Jocks YouTube channel. I'm Deadpool. He plays here with a review of the Siberia 800 headset by SteelSeries. The 800 model is one of the top of the line models of the SteelSeries Siberia line of headsets. It boasts wireless on the 2.4 gigahertz frequency, memory foam ear cuffs, as well as rotating ear cuffs so that you could wear them flat against your chest or put them down on a table, a retractable microphone, as well as memory foam headband for comfort, a range of roughly 40 feet, two batteries within the box so that you can hot swap them uh, very easily by removing one ear cuff and hot swapping the batteries. And it also boasts compatibility with optical analog and USB interfaces. The first thing I like to talk about is the comfort level of the Siberia 800s. Now the Siberia 800s have memory foam ear cuffs and headband, and while this is exceedingly comfortable on hugging your ears, even while wearing glasses, the one lacking department of this headset is in the headband itself. I previously used Siberia 200s, and they had what I like to call the floating headband, which is a soft headband that floats on the inside of the rigid headband and is uh, suspended with spring tensioned wires so that it automatically adjusts to the size of your head and gives you almost like this floating cloud feeling to where you don't feel the weight of the headphones on the top of your head only the sides of your ears. Now the 800 series does have a memory foam headband along the top, so it's not uncomfortable, it's just not as comfortable as previous SteelSeries Siberia line headsets that I've tested have been. That being said, it is more comfortable than Plantronics, Logitech, Audio-Technica, and Astro headsets that I've tested. I've had Turtle Beats that have a similar floating method to my Siberia 200s, so that's a slight edge up over this rigid model, but the average Turtle Beach headset also falls in that less comfortable category. The next feature I'd like to talk about is the wireless capabilities of the headset. The wireless capability range boasts a 40 foot distance. I did test that in one direction. I easily got 45 feet and the other I went about 35 feet because it was around a corner so there were walls blocking the signal. All in all, an excellent range. I can't see needing to be more than 30 to 45 feet away from the base station unless I'm doing chores around my house or something else ridiculous. And if that's the case, you can very, very easily and conveniently plug a audio cable into the bottom of your headset and use them as an analog headset. The base station boasts many features, including a volume control knob, selector switch is the volume control knob itself. That's a back button, an LCD display, Many interfaces, you had optical in and out, a USB that is both in and out, you have a chat cable for the microphone's output, and you also have an analog cable for the speakers coming into your headset. That also includes a slot on the side which houses your second backup battery so that you can actually charge one while you're using the other. I tested the life of said batteries and the batteries lasted right around 12 hours for one and 13 hours for the other. The recharge time of the second battery was right around the two hour mark. So by the time I needed to put the second battery in, it was fully charged and ready to go, which means at no point do you need to go wired like other previous wireless headsets that I've owned. Now on to the microphone quality. As you can hear, it is slightly lacking in the department compared to a nice condenser or dynamic microphone such as my ElectroVoice RE20, but it does the trick of a headset microphone and sounds on par with every other headset that I've tested. One feature of the microphone which is nice is they do have an on-the-fly mute button. As you can see here, it's red. That means it's muted. With another push of the button, it's unmuted to let you know whether or not your headset is muted or unmuted, and that is easily configured with a tap of the power button. You also have a control slider here to adjust the volume of your microphone as well as the sources that it selects and you can see everything going on with your microphone settings on the LCD screen of your control station. Out of the quality of playback, so the sound in the headphones is very, very superb. I've tested headphones from Audio-Technica, Sennheiser, uh, Bose, Plantronics, Logitech, Turtle Beach, and other SteelSeries headsets. Where does it rank? It ranks up there with very, very high-end studio quality headsets, such as standalone headphones as my Audio-Technica ATH M50s. It's right there alongside it. The only headsets I would say really doesn't really reach is 
the quality of some very expensive four to five hundred dollar Bose headsets or Sennheiser headsets designed for that music experience or that rich, rich audio experience. But as far as a gaming headset goes, I've never had a gaming headset that's close to the same sound quality as the Siberia 800s. Where does that leave us in the category of ratings? In comfort, I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. And while the memory foam ear cuffs and headband are comfortable, I know firsthand from how comfortable the floating style headset is from my Siberia 200s that it's just not quite where it could be. While it is exceedingly comfortable and blows many other headsets out of the water as far as the length of use and the comfortability, I know what could be and it doesn't quite rack up to that headset style or the top of headset style. In the department of sound, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. It ranks up there on par and above almost every other gaming headset and or a headphone that I've tested. You get rich, rich basses. You get very, very clear mids and trebles. You have an option for Dolby Digital 7.1 surround sound. So in your games, you're gonna have directional feedback and know where to aim. You're gonna know when somebody's behind you or in front of you or to the side. Very, very excellent, superb sound. The topic of microphone quality, it's about a 6 out of 10, but that's pretty much the standard for any gaming headset, 6 or below, and that's on a scale that would include dynamic and condenser microphones on it as well. And in the category of features, such as the wireless, the accessories it comes with in the box, the convenience and use of the base station, as well as the lifespan of the batteries, it's a 10 out of 10. Easy, easy, hands down decision. The control station has every feature you would want. Not only does it have the interfaces you would want, but the accessories within the box come with literally every cable connection you could need. Optical cable, USB cable, power cables, analog cables, analog to chat cables for your Xbox. It comes with the analog to cell phone cable for your phones. So it has every cable connection you could hope for. Usually when you get a headset or an audio device that says it's compatible with this, that, and whatnot, it only comes with one or two of the, the kit and caboodle, whereas the Siberia 800s come with every single cable that you can need in every possible configuration, which is excellent. It comes with two batteries, even though they could have only included one, which means you never have downtime having to charge your device. You can put one battery in and very easily hot swap it for your backup battery as needed. Overall, I give the Siberia 800s by SteelSeries a 9 out of 10. Among its peers in the gaming headset category, Category, it reigns supreme as the top gaming headset. Why I didn't give it a 10 out of 10 is simply because with a few small tweaks that I mentioned over the course of the video, it could easily, easily be the best headset in the world, hands down. And I'm looking forward because I know that SteelSeries takes, in these, takes these things and these features into account to develop top of the line products for its fans, for the gamers. It is gaming equipment by gamers, for gamers. And I know that the technology that are gonna be right around the corner as far as the audio equipment goes is going to be superb. So I'm looking very, very, very forward to a bright, bright future of the Siberia line of headphones from Steel Series. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below for more gaming reviews as well as reviews on gaming related peripherals and hardware. This has been Deadpool Plays with the Mouse Jocks YouTube channel. Peace out.